Alright, what's up guys? Raji here, back with another Pokemon episode, episode number 43 of the Dragon Master. And last time we left off, we beat Drayden, and I just exited the gym, and I was gonna go heal up, but then Drayden was like, I'll show you the way. Follow me. <sighs> Why is it every time I hit the freaking record button, I get the sniffles? Like, my nose is not feeling too well right now. And it kind of sucks, so let me just heal up real quick. Then we'll go say hi to Drayden. Alrighty. Now let's, let's go say hi to Drayden. Maybe, maybe he has um, a little something for us. This way. Oh god, this is gonna be so epic. We're here, okay, come inside. I don't know what voice I gave him last episode. I, I kind of forgot. So, he, he's gonna get a new voice for now. Let me tell you the story. It's a long story, but listen closely. It was two years ago when the two dragon Pokemon were awakened. The white dragon Pokemon, Reshiram, sought what is true with the desire to usher in a world of goodness, a new world of goodness. And the black Pokemon, Sekrum, pursued what is ideal with the desire to usher in a new world of hope. Reshiram and Zekrom were once a single Pokemon. You may wonder why it split into two. The single dragon Pokemon that had helped the two, bleh, helped the twin heroes bring a new region into being. But the twin heroes, the younger brother who sought ideals and the older brother who sought the truth, sundered the region in two as they fought to see which of them was right. In that desperate hour, the single dragon Pokemon split his body into a white Pokemon and a black Pokemon. Even though I, even through ideas and truth don't need to be in opposition. As the story goes, a third dragon Pokemon, Kiram, also came into existence in the era. And there may be proof of this to be found in a treasure passed down in my family for generations. The DNA splicers. Professor Juniper's research determined that the materials in those splicers date back to the same era as the materials used Oh god, excuse me. In building the Dragon Spiral Tower. Oh, the DNA splicers are stored in very safely. I guard them because I don't know what kind of power might lie within them. The power that's inside. But here's what's been bothering me. Could there be one more dragon Pokemon? Even if Kiram really exists, we don't know what kind of Pokemon it is. For starters, the two Pokemon, the ancient Pokemon split into, are both overwhelmingly powerful. So if Kiram exists, could it be just a husk, just a husk, a shell that was left over? <laughs> Boom. What was that sound? Right, you. Hurry outside. We must see what is going on. And then, what? What is this? It's a floating ship. Oh my God! The Go Kaijus have come. Oh my God! Super Mega Force. This. This. Oh my God! Although, didn't they have a blue sky ship or a, a red sky ship? Huh. Last time I checked, the cannons were on the side. But I mean, like... Huh, it's charging. Usually they shoot these cannonballs, not a giant freaking- OH MY GOD! <laughs> that's nice, um... I guess that's close enough. Cannonballs, right? Just, you know... Freezing cannonballs? Yep. <sighs> oh, looks so much better. This world of ice. Haxorus, use Dragon Tail. Ra 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 ra. That's enough, Haxorus. And not only did the ice stay unbroken, there's not even a scratch on it. What's going on? I don't think that's going to work. 
I remember you from Enns Castle. It's bitter cold. I'm shivering. I'm suffering. But I'm alive. It's what the existence of life feels like. It's proof of my existence. But that's enough of philosophy. Here are the facts for your admiration. The site was specially created by Team Plasma's technology. As long as we have our secret weapon, <laughs> you'll never be able to melt or break this ice. Let me explain our purpose here. Drayton, hand over the DNA splicers. Oblucid City is a city where the past and the future are entwined. Could there be a more perfect place for the splicers that connect the separated Pokemon? Do you know? Do you think someone who knows what you did two years ago will just hand them over quietly? Ha! Huh, that's what I thought you'd say. At this point, I'd like to threaten you with another volley of ice, but we can't use it for a moment. Ha! <sighs> it won't be enjoyable in this cold, but I guess we'll just search for them. Thankfully, I have tissues right next to me. Oh, okay. I think I got my nose better. Those foul villains. Right, you. I want you to help me. We're going to Dry Team Plasma out of Uplucid City. Whoa, I just combined the two voices. That was weird. <laughs> okay, Drayden, you take these. And I'm going to mess around with my team just a wee bit. Just just a wee bit to... Okay. Okay, there we go. Much better. You want to fight? I'll take those, yes. Alright, Team Plasma, let's go. I've been itching for a battle. Not really. Watch Hawk, alright. It's gonna be an easy battle. Theoretically speaking, of course. Actually, hold on, is Dino's attack higher than his special attack? Yeah, it is still, okay. Baton pass, are you serious? Do you, you have someone to- Okay. Okay, okay. Just, okay. Hold this dragon rush. And you lived. Yay! Oh my gosh, I really need Dino to evolve. I should just like, give it the experience. Crit. Crit. Of course, crit. Yeah, I think I'm just going to give Dino the experience share and then just train with my other Pokemon. Because Dino is not really the greatest Pokemon I have at this point. Because it's still first stage and like I need it to evolve right now. Or else it would not get any better. Alright, let's just... Let's just finish some Flygon. You you put in the work last time. Just <coughs> you put in the work last time. You can you could easily wipe out this guy's team single handedly. A Dragon Tail wasn't quite enough. Slam. I mean, why does Dragon Tail have to have a negative priority? Ugh. All right, and the Watchdog is out. Flygon putting in the finest of the works. And where's my experience here? Because I'm about to slap it on. Dino. And I'm gonna switch Dino for Embor. And there's my experience here. Oh, I have two of them. Oh, you're holding the Eevee light. Oh, well. Oh, well. You're just gonna have to deal with it for now, Dino. Next battle. What do you, what level does Dino evolve at? Oh, I was about to look it up on my phone. 
Yeah, can't do that right now. But it's okay. Because <laughs> instead, I'm just going to look it up on my laptop. Oh, this isn't good. Um, should I try? I'll try it. And of course, I went out speed. Why did they get out speed? Oh, it ate it up. Look at that. Did like a third. Oh god, no. Emblor, no, 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 no. Oh, like a boss, Emblor. GG. Emblor's too OP. I'm gonna stay in. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Hyper potion it. Cause Embor is just way too powerful for these guys. Embor's a boss. I see why I didn't choose Samrot now. Poison, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. in the flamethrower. Or, you know, you can get a crit. Thanks, Garbiter. You gonna kill? It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Do I have any full restores? I have a max potion. Ooh. Um... Yeah, I don't have any full restores. This is bad. All right, I'm gonna switch out. Switch back out into Flygon. I'm gonna go heal back this. Jeez, why is it taking so long? Okay. Let's go for... Just finish it off with Dragon Breath. Oh, okay. Well, that's not that far. Dino evolves at level 50. So, if we just keep the experience here on it, it'll eventually evolve. Oh, you can go heal up, actually. I can't fight them, because Embor's about to die. Heh heh. Heh heh. Heh heh. But, I don't know. Embor did pretty good. I like, I like how I just, you know, took an acrobatics like it was nothing. Like, you know, 4 HP. Nothing, nothing too important or anything. And let's head back out. All right, Embor. I haven't actually, I haven't used Embor in a while. Oof. Just been sitting in the back of the party, just chilling. You know, just just in case we ran across a uh, a nice type or something. Alright, let's go. I think this is the last one that I need to take on before they leave. I think. I'm not sure. And then, how do I get to... I forgot where I go after this, actually. He crash. I think I go back... Why does no one die? Jeez. It's holding the charcoal, too. That's a crit. Hold this flamethrower. I'm surprised Embor outspeeds the Viper. It's only we're only one level above it. All right, Weezing. I swear, if you poison me, I'm going to kill you. I'm gonna be really mad with you. I'm gonna be really, really mad with you. Don't poison me. Don't do it. Good. 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 Now I just finish you off. All right. Now I want to go heal. I mean, I could, but Ember will be fine. Alright. Oh, I think that's it. Jim. Oh, wait. I'm actually I'm going to go heal because he scares me. <laughs> I feel like he's going to want to battle. 
I think I think we do battle him. Do we battle him? I'm pretty sure we battle him. He just has a bunch of ice types. Man, why does everybody have ice types in this game? Ugh. Well, it looks like I'm not throwing an Altaria or a Flycon. It's, they're both four times weak to ice. Ugh. Alright. Here we go. I'm gonna save the game, because, you know, before anything important happens, you always want to save the game. Just, just in case. You never know. Because, you know, you can die and lose money. I, I know I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, I was right. We do fight him. Okay. Good. I went to go heal because Ember was half dead. Alright. Zin Zinzolian? Zinzolin? Zinzolin? He leaves with Cryogonal. Okay, so I could go for Heat Crash, Hammer Arm, Flame Door. Actually, all my moves are super effective against it. Should I just go for Rollout and just power that up? I feel like he has a move to destroy me with, so I'm just going to go for Heat Crash. Confuse Ray, of course. Because everybody just loves confusing me. It doesn't matter. Just They just love it. And I always hurt myself, so... Doesn't even need to use the nice type attack. it just kill me. Because I'm going to keep hurting myself in confusion. Come on, Embor. Hurt yourself. Oh, okay. You didn't hurt yourself. That's, that's new. Nice. Taking it out with one swipe. Well, technically it was a crash, but you know what I mean. Another cryogonal? Bro, I'm just gonna keep bopping these guys. Please don't tell me your last Pokemon is a cryogonal. I'm gonna be so disappointed if it is. Oh, Amber, don't hurt yourself. Okay. Alright, that's two down. What's his last Pokemon? Is it. What is it? I have a feeling. I want to say Behem, but it's probably not because he has a nice type. It's a Weavile. Well, this is an easy battle. Thanks, Embor. <laughs> Just made this whole battle a lot easier. Because it would suck to catch a nice shard. Nice. Pulling through. Look at Embor. New MVP of this series. Sorry, Flygon. You put in the work last episode, but this episode, Embor is OP. And that's that. You're a strong trainer. You definitely are adept at handling Pokemon. I believe I'll take my leave simply because I can't stand this cold. But imagine this. A Yuna region completely covered in ice. To achieve this splendor, we'll do whatever it takes to obtain the DNA splices. You're even better than I hoped. Thanks to you, you we drove them off. I'm grateful to your Pokemon, also. After all that, the least we could do is heal them with this medicine. Thank you. Wait right here, I'll be right back. I just gotta find it, toss it aside. Hmm. That's a new record for making it there and back. Look, Raichu. There are the DNA splices. This is what they're after. We're really fortunate Team Buster didn't get their hands on them. I don't know what their goal is, but I'm sure they're planning something wicked. As we expected, the hiding place was a gym. Well thought out. The trainer wasn't there. We can't get in. If he is there, he's the strongest guard we could possibly face. It also explains why the Pokemon gym was remodeled. Whatever. The Union Spices are in our hands now. It's beyond my imagination to think you'd use one of the seven sages to find out where the spices were. Now you know then. We will accomplish your goals, no matter what the cost. We don't have the ability to captivate the hearts of others like Loren does. Instead, we will bend people to our will with brute force. Two years was a surprisingly long wait. Jesus, why is there... Okay, goodbye. If they've stolen... Wow, if they've been stolen from us, we'll just have to take them back. Let's go, Dredgen. Dredgen. Let's go, Haxorus. Can I... Can I... I don't think I can go to the, the Pokemon League yet. Of course I can't. I have to 
go to the last gym. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here. Oh, there you are. <laughs> you don't really think you, you can take the DNA spices back, do you? All right, looks like I was headed in the right direction. Team Plasma Shadow. Ponyard. P Ponard. Well, Embor, I should have healed you up. But I didn't think I'd fight them, so... Oh, wait, that's right, um... Who is it? Drayden heals up. Hold his hammer on. Be gone, foul beasts of sorts. Yeah. Who's next? Absol? I want to stay in. I really... I'm gonna stay in. Because a hammer on would put Haxorus in as... Or Haxorus. Put Absol in as well. Future Sight? Yeah. Um... How about... No. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. And another poniard. Alright. This is an easy battle. You were saying? Home calls? Bro, are you seriously trying to set up on my Embor? Are you seriously trying to set up on my Embor? Wow! It avoided my attack. It has a 10% chance to miss. Are you serious right now? I'm so done with you. Alright. Goodbye, Ponyard. Alright, though, that. Alright. <laughs> oh, whoops. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, no! No! It's not your fault, right? You, you were impressive. Just. Just, just, just call, stay calm. Stay calm. Uh. Uh, right, you. A strange ship was flying toward opposite city, right? I saw it too. I'm in route. Charon, what steam plasma ship, isn't it? Yes, no doubt about it. I don't know what names to give these people, or what voices to give these people. Anyway, I'll be arriving in a moment. Okay, I'll leave things up to you. Right, you. Oh god, I shook it. Oh well, hashtag yellow, right? Oh, that'll work. If you run into any trouble, call me. Ugh. If there were only two of me, then I could protect the town and chase after them. Oh, hey, Sharon. Yo. Drayden, what's up? Gym leader, Aspera City. Oh, tell me to take on the last gym leader. Alright, and he's off. And I'm off to Undela Town. Alright. Um, I think I've. Have I been there before? Ye yes. Alright. Let's fly to Andel Town. And I'm actually going to end off the episode here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, I know this was kind of a slow progression episode. But we're gonna... We've had a couple of those already, actually. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I know I have. My name is Raichu, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later.